How's it going everyone? I got a great video for you today. Today we're going to be talking about EX Sandstorm, which is a third generation set and it's a second set from Ruby and Sapphire. So what's really cool about this set is that it's 20 years old because the release date was September 18, 2003. But these PSA 9s are really inexpensive. Most of them for the top 10 cards are under $150 for a PSA 9. So I beg the question, is this a new investment of a vintage set we should be looking at? Because there's a low population and inexpensive PSA 9s. So let's go ahead and jump into it. But right before we do, here's some key takeaways that we're going to be finding out. And then also here's the full era of Ruby and Sapphire. This is the second set. I already covered a video on the first set, Ruby and Sapphire base set. Uh, I'll pin that video to the right or the left. But here's some key takeaways that we're going to notice. The top 10 uh, Pokemon cards in this set have a low pop for PSA 10s and PSA 9s. Some of the PSA 10s are expensive, but the PSA 9s, like I said, are under $150. So that's really good, I think. And then also, the top 10 raw single cards, if you want to go the raw route, many of those are under $100 for some of the best chase cards in this set. Most of them, too. And then, so... I'm going to beg the question, do you think these PSA 9s have room to appreciate? I think they do, but let's go ahead and jump into the data and find out and kind of look at these cards a little closer. All right, so first off, we're starting off with the Flareon Reverse Hollow. eBay has an average price of $27 for this card. TCG Player has some more near mint copies, so the average price is $50 for this card. And the card market overall, because it's accounting for heavily played and lightly played is $22.34. So this Flareon sits at the number 10 spot for this set. And let's go ahead and look at the PSA numbers. The PSA 10 is selling for $74.50. And there's only a population of eight in this set. So, and then the PSA 9 is selling for $62.99. And there's a population of only 43. So really cool to see. And then the PSA 9 has actually recently lost a little bit of value. But let's go ahead and look at these numbers. So you can get the reverse hollow foil of this card in a PSA 9 for $85. And then look at this PSA 10. Pretty expensive for the number 10 card in this set. But $489. So this was the only PSA 10 I could find. It was the cheapest. But yeah, so there's, a really, there's an extremely low population of only 8. So that really makes sense. All right, next, in the number nine spot, we have the Gardevoir EX card. Pretty nice card. Gardevoir is a very popular Pokemon, especially right now in the Scarlet and Violet era. And so the raw price is at an estimated $35.84 on eBay for the different listings. And the TCG player price is around $53.87 for the different listings. And the overall card market, including the different mint Mint copies is $9.63. All this data is from pokedata.io. Really good resource. I highly recommend. So let's go ahead and look at these PSA 10 copies. It looks like the PSA 10 is selling for $546.28. But again, low population of 57. And then the PSA 9 copy, though, is only selling for $137.47. And there's a PSA, I mean, there's a PSA count of 250 for this PSA 9s. And then if we look at the price history, it looks like the PSA 10 has lost a little bit of value. But let's go ahead and look at eBay. So these are some screenshots that I took. The cheapest PSA 10 I could find was for $839. There's also a best offer, so maybe they would take $700, but I'm not sure. But there's not very many PSA 10s, so it really makes sense why they're really expensive because of the scarcity of the grade. And so let's look at this PSA 9, though. Only $159, and it's up for best offer so maybe you could get it for 139 all right let's look at the number eight card in this set it's the kabu tops ex card really cool looking card um he's about to use the hydro cutter kind of intimidating a little scary but it's the number eight card for this set on ebay looks like there's an average price of 33 dollars and 30 cents selling for this card tcg player has it for 54 dollars and 50 cents and then the overall card market for this card is 28 dollars and 82 cents now let's go ahead and look at the those PSA 10s and PSA 9s. On eBay, it looks like the average price is $393 and a pop with a population of 87. And the PSA 9 is selling for $71 with a population of 275. So not bad for a PSA 9. It looks like the PSA 10 has risen in value where the PSA 9 has dropped. But let's go ahead and check on eBay. So let's see. 
It looks like the cheapest I was able to find was $129 for the PSA 9. And then the PSA 10 is up for best offer at $419. So maybe $400, $390. It just depends on how much the seller is willing to lower their price. All right, next we got the Agron EX. I love Agron. He's a super dope Pokemon. Definitely loved using them in Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire in the games. But let's look at the prices for this card. The raw price is $32.04 according to eBay. TCG Player has some listings at around $59.34 for the different mint copies. And then the card market overall is $22.84 because it's accounting, you know, heavily played cards and whatnot. Now let's go ahead and get to the PSA. The PSA 10 for this card is $326.32 with the population of 67. So there's only 67 Agrons EX right now in a PSA 10. So that kind of shows in the price, right? But look at this PSA 9. A population of 257, but only $88.50. And for a really sweet card like Agron, I think that's a steal. And if we look at the price history, it looks like the PSA 9 has lost a little bit of value. But let's check on eBay. Looks like I was able to find a best offer for $125 or less. So pretty nice. Maybe they would take $100. And then right here, here's where the population kind of shows for the PSA 10. It's a low pop, right? So $500 straight up with 14 active watchers. So I don't know if this seller would be willing to go lower, but possibly but really cool card. Now let's check the number six spot is held by Aerodactyl EX. Super sweet card, especially in Lost Origin. I believe we have the Aerodactyl alternate rare. And that card I think is selling for around $80. So it's really cool to see an Aerodactyl in the top chase card um, count for this set. So right now this uh, card on eBay is selling for $50.99. And then the TCG player listings aren't too much more at $60.75. And again, that's kind of like an average because different sellers sell at a different price, right? Uh, depending on how mint they think it is. And then the overall card market is $18.46. So you could probably get a more heavily played card for, for this card for cheaper. And then let's look at the PSA numbers for this card. Looks like the eBay number or eBay average is $399 and the population is at 91 and the PSA 9 is selling for $85 with a population of 292. Looks like the PSA 10 has lost about $50 to $100 in the past few months. Now let's go ahead and look on eBay though and the cheapest I was able to find by the same seller, one of the same sellers is $450 or best offer so maybe they would take 430, 435, 440. And then the PSA 9 though looks really nice. Only $133 for one of the top chase cards in this set. And it's a PSA 9, so not a 10, but still really epic artwork. I think it has a ton of room to grow. All right, next in the number five spot, we have the Umbreon Reverse Hollow. And so really cool Reverse Hollow Rare. Umbreon's a really popular Pokemon. So let's check out these raw prices currently on eBay. Average listed price is about $31.53. TCG player, $64.56. And then the overall card market uh, kind of matches those two listings from the different uh, stores. And it's $57.41 is the overall card market price. And then so if we look at PSA, looks like there's a population of 20 for PSA 10. And that kind of shows that the average value of this card on eBay is $747.99. And look at that number nine, really expensive. The population is also really small, only 68. So the eBay listings looks to be around $300. So it looks like the PSA 9 on the price history has lost a little bit of value where the PSA 10 has stayed relatively flat. It kind of makes sense that it's been staying flat for a year because it's already a really expensive card. All right, now let's go ahead and look at the eBay listings. The cheapest I was able to find for this Umbreon was $174. And I made sure it's the reverse hollow rare because the next one is a PSA 9 mint copy. However, it's not the reverse hollow rare, it's the regular hollow rare. But still a cool card, only selling for $69.95. So if you're looking for another Umbreon, this might be something worth picking up for you. All right, right here in the number four spot, we have the Pikachu reverse hollow rare. Really cool design, really cool artwork. On eBay, it's only selling for $9. TCG player, $64.73. And the overall card market is 
probably because there's a lot of damaged copies because look at the PSA 10 and PSA 9 price. Really a huge discrepancy between the two and the PSA 10 is super expensive. There's only a population of eight, so that makes sense that it's $1,600. But look at the PSA 9, 63, so not a huge population and only an average eBay price of $57.55. Looks like both of these PSA 9 and PSA 10 prices have stayed relatively flat for the entire year. Um, and then let's look at eBay. So the reverse hollow rare, so that's correct. That's what we want. $159 or best offer. So pretty cool for a top chase card. It is kind of a basic looking card, but nonetheless, it's a Pikachu card. And then I couldn't find the PSA 10 for sale, but I found this non hollow rare for 233 Australian. So that's 153 US. I don't think it's really worth it, but I thought I would make a note of it. All right, now we're getting into the top three. Top three. Here's the Well Lord EX card, super sweet card. <clears throat> Look at that PSA 10, $999 with a population of 47. Really interesting. And then the PSA 9 is only $104.57, or $104.50, and the population is 247. So a wider population, right? But if you want this card raw, eBay, there's an average price listings for $43.99. TCG Player has some near mint copies at $68. And the card market has an overall price set for this card at $33.33. If we look at the price history, the PSA 10 looks like in the past month has gained a good amount of value. Kind of makes sense. It's low pop and the PSA 9 has stayed relatively flat. Let's go ahead and check out the prices. Look at this beautiful Whale Lord EX. It's a mint nine. It just looks really nice and it's only $129. I feel like $100, $105, $110 is a good offer. Let's go ahead and see if I was able to find a 10. It looks like I wasn't able to find a 10, but I found another PSA 9 for 149 Australian and that's 111 US. Now let's go ahead and look at the top two cards. Top two or in second place, it's the Typhlosion EX card. Really sick card. I love Typhlosion. Uh, I always start with him as a starter and finish the game and then maybe try another starter like uh, Meganium. But really cool card. Let's look at the raw price for this card. $64 on eBay, $73 on TCG Player, and the overall card market is $25. And then let's look at the PSA 10. There's a population of 92. And on eBay, it's only selling for $350.67, which is surprising to me for a top two card. Because uh, it's a really cool card. I really like it. But look at the PSA 9. Has a bigger popular, uh, population of 343. So that 10 is hard to get it seems like. But three times less and it's still a PSA 9. So I think that's really great for a really cool card. Let's go ahead and look at the price history. It looks like the PSA 10 price have dropped dramatically for this card. And are kind of rebounding. And so... Um, and but and that PSA 9 looks like it's kind of dropped a little bit in value, which is good because I'm probably trying to get a PSA 9. But let's go ahead and look at the eBay prices. So I found a best offer for a PSA 10 at $500, which is really expensive. So more expensive than the graph that we just saw for the history. But it makes sense. It's a low pop card. And then look at this PSA 9 though. Not too bad. There is a population of 300 or so, but $144. So I feel like that's pretty nice for a top two chase card that's already graded 20 years old. All right, we finally made it to the number one spot and it's held by Raichu EX, so sick. Looks like he's about to harness energy for a Mega Thunderbolt that does 120 damage, I love seeing it. So let's go ahead and look at the prices. The raw price is $27.75 on eBay, TCG players about $82, and on the overall car market is $29.08 for the various mint copies. Now let's check out the PSA though. The PSA 10 for this card is an average of $588.20 with a population of 96, so still under 100, and it's still relatively expensive. But look at the PSA 9. A population of 318, which isn't super big, and it's only $157.63, which is expensive, but it is the top chase card in this set. Let's see the price history. It looks like the PSA 10 has dropped a good amount, like probably $200 to $400 right here according to the chart. But let's check eBay. And eBay, still pretty expensive at $799. That was the best offer. 
in the description they mentioned low pop so you know they definitely know the value of their card so more than it was projected on this price history but that's fine really great card i don't blame them at all it's really nice and there's not very many copies either for sale i'm sure and then look at this psa 9 though only 140 dollars so i think less than it was here or actually more expensive actually low it's cheaper 157 dollars for a psa 9 on the price chart history and 140 dollars right here so look at that really solid card it's not a psa 10 but I think there's a lot of room to grow for these PSA 9s. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and summarize everything. This is, the, this is the second set EX Sandstorm from Ruby and Sapphire, which showcases the third generation of Pokemon. So after Neo Genesis and after base set with all the Gen 1 Pokemon, right? And here's the key takeaways again. Top 10 uh, cards have a low pop. That's including PSA 10s and PSA 9s. So really good to know you know when we're trying to collect or invest in vintage pokemon cards and then the top 10 raw single card prices are really great many of them are well under a hundred dollars and i believe the psa 9s have a lot of room to appreciate so go ahead and check those out for yourself here's some honorable mentions the top 10 through 15 we have some evolutions like that jolteon the sableye the arcanine the mawile classic gen 3 pokemon some of them and then we have the vaporeon the pichu really cute card and that awesome sift tree and Viper. so my name is mj okage feel free to check out my other videos i'm going to continue on generation 3 i'll see you next time mj okage out peace